welcome to Little Fit. Here at Little Fit, we talk about kids, mothers, pregnancy, and so much more we have in stock for you, especially when it concerns your kids. I don't mean how you train your kids, though, even though we'll be talking about little of it. They're your kids. My name is Oye Badeji, and I'm here with Laura. Shonake. Did I just call your name? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you, really? pronounce, you pronounce my so name. You're so busy. Yeah, at the last episode, we talked about um, the woman having a safe delivery yes. and, and all that. So today, we'll be talking about how to take care of your baby. Wait, are we really meant to tell them how to take care of baby? I don't know anybody yeah, else some pregnant women, some new lady, uh, some new mothers. Let yes, me put it that way. Yes, some new yes, mothers yes. don't know exactly how to go about taking good care of their children. So they need to be taught about that. Wait, if I, can I think my that is even necessary. It's, it's, it's necessary. For them to go for antenatal in the first place. Yeah, I think they do. So they put right them through all the things one after the other. Wow. So yes. Wait, it's, okay. For, it's for those that didn't have the, the chance or they are not free enough to go for antenatal, what will happen? Then that's why they need an elderly person around them. Or they'll go on online. They go on site. No. Huh. I don't think that Mind you, it's not everything you see on Google that is correct. Yeah. Those things are also placed there by humans. That's some weird, weird things you see on Google. Yes. That yeah. You won't even want to go there. Yes. You won't even want to use the whatever to train your children. No. Yes. And I think the very first thing you want to consider is the clothes of your baby. Is that the first thing? Mm -hmm. I, I don't. I thought that's the first thing you get to shop for. I, I, well, 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 well. You well, do that before your baby comes home. Uh, oh, what about what about Jesus? Jesus? Sorry, she's trying to take it very personal. Please, no, I'm not taking it very okay, personal. Okay, okay, you want to talk about the sex of the baby, whether it's a girl or a boy or a male or a female. Come to think of it, even what we are talking about <laughs> can be funny at times. Oh, I'm yeah. never going there. <laughs> I have a friend that went for scan. I know where you're heading to. <laughs> I know where you're heading to. I have to. a friend that went for a scan. At this the end of one. the day, at the end of the day, the, the scan said initially that the baby was a male. Hmm. And so they, they went, went to get male clothes for male clothes. <laughs> for baby, no, I, I think that's, that's still okay. For baby things, which was male clothes. That's male manageable. things. Not until when the woman gave birth. Okay. Came out as a girl. So in that situation, what do you expect the mother to do? She can't take the clothes back to the market and change them. No, no? no she can't. No, she can't. She, she has to just wait for this. So I think the best thing is to go for a unisex clothes. Hmm. We have to pick boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl. Clothes that fit in with boy and girl. And girl. Actually. It's so brainy when it comes to that. Unisex, that, I think I like that, yes. Okay. I, I, yeah. up, to, up to the shoes. Everything concerning the baby should be unisex. Yeah, I think I like that because when it's very quiet for you know, sometimes I get to have babies around me. I, I get to see babies with their mothers, and I, I'm, I'm sorry for saying this. And I get to look at the the leg of the, the baby girl, and I see a boyish boots, and I'm like, uh, earrings. Is he is he a, is he a boy or yeah, a girl? Yeah, yeah. I can't really tell, you know. It, it's always quite funny, and it could be very embarrassing for the mother when you get oh, what a beautiful girl. No, no, there's not gonna be a boy. Yeah, so we, we, we uh, so it's actually uh, we suggest that you go for unisex. Yes. Yes. Set of clothes, shoes, unisex accessories. Accessories. Uh, really. Accessories. Oh, fashion. Yeah. Oh my. Oh, That's what oh, was it coming there? Was it coming there? Just get to arrange them. Um, wristwatches on their yes. newborn babies. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my God. So oh my God. I don't think I it. like that. It's part of it. It's part of dressing, actually. So then after the unisex clothes, then we get, we get to talk about um um. Uh, um, the cleanliness yes. of the baby, which is very, very important. Very, very important. It's very important. Yes. Where we get to, you know, we suggest that you you have the baby's clothes properly washed, again properly ironed. I'm really stating that properly ironed because that also fights germs and every other thing that might have. And infections. And in fact, thank you. Yeah. And infections. You you get to detail the water. Yes. Make sure the water is not too hot. It's not too cold. That's why disinfectant is. Very, very necessary if you are taking care of a child. Of a child, yes. yes. I think it's always on the list. And um, so baby soap, the baby soap soon should be selected. Yes, yes, it's very important. It's very, yes. very important. So you, you get to have the baby's clothes ironed, washed, thoroughly ironed, thoroughly washed. Thoroughly and 
You know, I want to say this. When we talk about washing the baby's clothes, we have to be very, very careful. Because I've read, I've read stories whereby, you know, somebody posted and I was like, my baby is reacting to something and I don't really know what it is. Only for her to discover later on that it was the it clothes. It was the soap. Thank you. She used so, to wash. Yes. So, Laura, are we going to be right to say at that point in time, those babies too are highly sensitive. Sensitive. They are highly, highly sensitive to things that come in contact with their skin because they have soft skin. No, sorry, were you also sensitive when you are a baby? Yeah. I think I was tough. I wasn't so, you know, sensitive. I was a rugged baby. I was so sensitive. All babies, no, me, she was sensitive when she was a baby. Me, when I was a baby, a rugged baby. I was a rugged, no, I wasn't a rugged baby. I was a tush baby. Wow. Tush, as in clean, tush. You need to see my picture. Wow. Tush. So, yeah, so she, you know, and you know, it took her very long time before she was able to understand the fact that, oh, it was the soap. Yes. She was thinking maybe somebody the carried her. Or it's, it's either is the soap, the detergents, or the water. Thank you. So it's I like that. So they have to be very, very careful. Yes. Yes, I like that. Okay. Yes. And again, one has to be very careful again where you spread the, the child's clothes. Yes, exactly. Where you spread the child's exactly. clothes. I will suggest that you wash your baby's clothes. Uh, if you cannot wash it with your hand, by yourself for proper monitoring okay. then you use the washing machine Ooh. I will suggest that because Ooh. the washing machine immediately you're washing it by drying it at the same time and you're, you know arranging your baby's clothes in a normal way Wow yes you made mention of arranging yes. now another thing we have to consider is where you arrange that baby's clothes this is Nigeria, and you're not mm -hmm. the only one living in your house. Yeah. You got to have Mr. Wagekko, Mrs. Rat, mm -hmm. you know, Mr. Cockroach, in and your room. room. In your room. So you need to be very careful about how you keep your baby things. Yeah, including the cups they get the cups, to use. Yes, exactly. They, yeah, I, I also heard that it's best you sterilize. You sterilize, yes. You have a sterilizing, sterilizing whatever yeah. vacuum. Vacuum, yes, yeah, that's where you work. place the your baby's spoon, spoon and all the that. cup, the place that should be well kept. And yeah, all that. That means the baby has his own personal place. Yes. His own personal spoon, his own yes. personal cup, everything yes. intact. Yes. And yes. one of those things that's always that I want us to also pay attention is the fact that, you know, I've seen mothers get to use adult spoons to feed To babies. feed their baby, which is not correct. It's not correct. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not right. No. You can't use the steel spoon to feed the newborn baby. You can't even even the spoon you right. use yourself. You have to be very careful. It's not right. Here you have to use the the amount, the quality amount of the the normal spoon you need to use for your baby, yeah. for your child. You cannot use a spoon that is bigger than your baby's mouth to feed him or her. No, it's not no. nice. It's not advised. It's not nice. It's not advisable. It's not. And you know, if we say all these things and then we don't talk about the bathing of the child every morning and night, I think mm -hmm. all what we have said is just, yeah, it's just yeah, a waste. Yeah. Because it's some, it's some get to like, routine. yes, I've heard somebody, oh, is it red now or red? I don't know, but I I got this from somewhere. Where the person was like, the weather is too cold. cold. I can't bathe my baby. And you can't bathe your baby. What happened to warm? Then you use warm water. Use warm water. To bathe your baby yeah. in the morning, in the night. Yeah. And you know, one of, one of the things I also want us to consider and just tip for the viewers is the fact that uh, is the fact that newborn babies, uh, do they do, do their mothers also back them or put them in carriers? Mm -hmm. Because, uh, you know, I get, mm -hmm. I've seen some babies that when you look at them, the babies are trying to survive in the carriers. They, mm -hmm. they ought to still be at the back, you know? I think, and yes. And you get to see the so end. But Trace, that's your point. That's system of carrying a child is so rampant now yeah mothers now use carriers to carry their child but instead of backing no, them no 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 but to me me i, me, I prefer carrier the feeling is archaic to back a child i, I think apart from i think I, I think this thing is in stages it gets to a point where you can actually use carrier for that baby I, sometimes i get to think the carrier you're using the baby can't you see that the baby is even yet to balance his neck you know, in the carrier. Maybe tends to use one side of the head. Of the head, yes. yes to, 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 to sleep for a very long period of time. Of time. And, and it can be very dangerous. Yeah, and some of them in the name of carrier. What is if you carry it, the, 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 the loose? It, 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 it gets loose. Loose. How do you do it? All of a sudden. How and do you, you have a load on the left, on the right hand side? What do you do? 
I don't know. It's, it has become. In fact, you know, some some of the some of the women get to go to stadium and like they rush. Yeah. To get into commercial buses with the carrier, with the, carrier. the baby, the, the newborn. Yeah. It's see, it's, that's why it's called a newborn baby. It's highly the neck, the leg, everything is highly sensitive. We also would like to talk about the fact that you have to be very very careful who carries your baby. Yeah. Somebody is coming from the toilet and say, oh, yes. it's a new baby, congratulations, Wham. No. Just carry your baby, just like that. Just like washing, washing the, hands, the hands. And then they go as far as using their hands. Oh, oh, touch. see the cheeks. So oh. everyone kiss. Oh, oh my God. Ah, ah, ah. We're well, not saying the person's mouth is smelly, it's, but it's not proper. It's, it's not, not proper for you to kiss a newborn child. No, baby. it's not. You can transfer disease to that, that child. Laura, right. this thing. Wait, 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 Laura, wait. Yeah, and wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. They tend to tell pregnant women. I, I, I know. Yes. But are you I, saying that? Wait, women. hold on. Are you saying if I get to kiss a baby now, I'm transferring diseases and GMs? Why have diseases? It doesn't matter whether the person has diseases or not. The most important thing is do not get your mouth Close in to the contact baby. Okay. Okay. with the baby. Yes, That's yes. a form of hygiene. Yes. Just to be, for you to be very careful, for you to, to, to take precaution of some things yeah. that's why it's advisable that you don't have your mouth in contact with the, baby. with the baby's mouth mm -hmm. no even even the mother even the doctors even the do doc yes that. yes you, you don't no you don't it's yes and one of the very important detail of um that concerns a newborn baby is the breast of the mother yeah, yeah. that very important aspect of taking care of a newborn child newborn child breastfeeding is yeah. most in fact, much more important to give to a child. When you breastfeed a child properly, the child will grow healthily. Mm. Yeah. And when we talk about breastfeeding, that means because that milk is gotten from what the mother is eating. Exactly. Mm. So moms still mm. need to eat. That's another topic on its own. To eat healthily too. Mm. Yeah. You don't get eat healthy food. Eat candy. Eat clean food. Yeah. It's food that will make your child grow strong. Good food. Yes. Good food. You're not the only one eating at that moment. At in all. Time. Good food. Whenever you want to feed the baby, still wash the nipple. Yes, exactly. Of the breast. For hygiene sake. Yes, still wash the nipple of the breast. Please, please, really, really do that. And you know, we get to have the series whereby the. I think all those things, they teach them during antenata. They shoot. Hmm. What do they do? They hmm. do, they shoot. Is there anybody that has the time to go for antenata? They shoot. Well, yeah, for things. those that don't have the time to go for antenata. Anybody? Yeah. You're right. It's yeah. Time to go yeah. Something. Even there are some things you get to learn by experience, you know. Yes. You, you, when I say by experience, I mean somebody who had given birth in your company, your environment, exactly. is telling madam, this is how you do yes. it. This is how you yes. do it. Yes. yes. Especially when your, especially when your, your. I'm sorry to say, when your mammalian gland is big, mm -hmm. and then it begins to cover the nose of the baby. You need to be very careful. Yeah. When you're There's a way. Your yeah. Child. Yeah, there's a way you... In order for your baby not to be suffocated. Mm. Yes, and like most babies, one. some babies get suffocated during... And the mother will not even know. And mother you're still will forcing the baby to stop early. Yeah. 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 I, I think that's that's so so much important. And, yeah. and, and we would like to also talk about the fact that they have the abdomen thing. You know, some babies yes. get to have sleepless nights. Yes. Yes, not some. Most, most all babies, all babies. have sleepless nights. Concerning the, is it normal? The number, it's it's normal. <laughs> it's normal. I think it's normal. I think. It's Please don't normal. feel as if it's a witch that is trying to normal. kill your baby. It's normal for your baby to go through that. Period. So it's it's advice you you see your doctor, explain to your doctor about your, how your baby's reacting. Yes. yes. How your baby is reacting to the pains. To the pains. Yes. Yes. From the from the navel. Generally so they, they can tell you what to use. They can tell you what to do yeah. at that period. In time. Just to suppress the pain the baby is feeling because <laughs> I'm telling you it can be it can be it can be something else. Yeah, because if the baby is not sleeping, yes. oh you mother you can't you sleep can't either. sleep either. You At can't, home. you can't. And you have to really, really get yourself ready. Welcome to sleepless night because you got to breastfeed yeah. the baby when he's yes. hungry. Yes. When yes. you know when yes. at any yes. little point in time you get to cry. Whenever you are in the corners of the house, you just run through my baby. You know that kind of a thing. Yeah. Yeah, let's go straight to lactation lactation period. So we yeah. can actually what what do you think about like lactating um period? Well, lactation period? well, 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 well um for what I've been told about yeah. when we are lactating, it means 
the, 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 the milk, the milk is coming out yeah, in yeah, excess. In excess. Yes, that's when you are not feeding the child at that particular time. time. That is when you lactate. Mm. And what do you do when you lactate? You you wear you wear what what's it called now? There's a particular um, breast pad yeah, that you yeah. use. That won't make your clothes to soak. Yeah, they have some bras. Yes, when you go to work, yeah. you know, when you go to work, you tend to put your child in a place where you will not be close to your child, mm -hmm. and then you'll be lactating yeah. at that point. Yeah. So you need to put on something like a breast pad yeah. to stop the lactation from showing in your clothes. So you see some 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 mothers, some new mothers. Yeah. You, know, you know, you you see their clothes being wet. Wet. Yes, yes. and then you'll be wondering. For those that are not experienced, you'll be wondering, ah, what is wrong with this woman? Yeah, that's true, that's true. Why is her chair so wet? Not knowing that she's lactating. Is that, is that so the you reason why they now have to squeeze out the milk yes. and put it in the yes. fridge? Is that yes. LD? Yes. Uh, it's not 100% healthy. It's not 100% healthy. Yes, it's not 100% healthy. Yes. Yes. No. They do that so that the, the child will no be able to, to have breast milk. And some of them are yes. busy making Whenever money. Whenever they are not around. Yes, yes. So some are also I busy making the money. What we've been talking about since, uh, be hygienic enough. Yeah. When you are taking care of a child. Mm -hmm. Yes, for, for, for you to have a healthy, growing, strong, energetic child. Mm. As for me, keep the baby clean. Yeah. Keep the baby free from germs and diseases. And use Stay cool. And use disinfectant. Like and subscribe to Pain TV. Bye. Bye.